Remarkably, the entire history of the Catholic Church is prefigured by the entire history of Israel in the Old Testament in chronological order. The Battle of Tours is part of this amazing story and is prefigured in the Old Testament by David and Goliath. For a complete video with scriptural references and other documentation, please refer to our video, Battle of Tours, prefigured in the Old Testament. Here is a short summary of the parallels between the Battle of Tours and David and Goliath. In the Old Testament, King Saul was afraid to go up against Goliath. His people were counting on his leadership, but he didn't show any courage in the face of the great adversary Goliath. It was the young boy David who would show valor and bravery. King Thuderic IV, much like his Merovingian king contemporaries, had no resolve or will to engage the invading Muslim forces that were making their way across Europe. It was the mayor of the palace, Charles Martel, who would show valor and bravery. King David was made the official armor bearer of King Saul. An armor bearer carried the king's shield and other weapons and protected the king in battle. Charles Martel was the mayor of the palace for King Thuderic IV. As such, the responsibility fell upon him to defend the kingdom, as the Merovingian kings of this period were largely inactive. David won the battle against Goliath. His chances of winning seemed extremely small, but David credited his victory to the hand of God. His victory was a huge relief to the Israelites. Charles Martel won in battle against the vastly superior forces of Abdul Rahman al Kafiki. His victory seemed incredibly unlikely since no one thought an army without cavalry could withstand the cavalry charges of the Muslim forces. All of Christendom viewed Charles's victory as won by the hand of God, and it was a huge relief to Europe. Neither the Israelites nor the Philistines would make the first move and attack. Instead, Goliath called out to the Israelites to come and fight him, while the Israelite army and the Philistine army waited in battle formation. The Philistines were counting on Goliath's heavy spear and sword to win for them. Neither the Muslim forces nor the Christian forces would make the first move and attack the other. They waited in battle formation for seven days, until finally the Muslims advanced with their heavy cavalry charge. The Muslims were counting on the tried and true advantage of their cavalry to win the victory for them. Upon the death of Goliath, the Philistines turned and ran in full retreat. The Israelites chased them, killing many of them and overtaking their camp. Upon the death of Abdul Rahman al Kafiki, the Muslim forces went into a full retreat. The Christian army chased them and found that they had retreated so fast and so far that they left their camp completely set up and completely empty. David became extremely popular, popular with the Israelites for having displayed great valor and for having killed the giant Goliath and saving Israel from a Philistine invasion. He was later crowned king of Judah and then king of all of Israel. Charles Martel was regarded as the great hero of his age, having saved Europe from almost certain Muslim invasion and subjugation. Charles Martel's grandson Charlemagne would later be crowned king of the Franks, king of the Lombards, and later the first Holy Roman Empire, ruler of all of Christian Europe. King David was the first great king of the Davidic dynasty, which ruled over Israel until finally the last Davidic king was deposed by Nebuchadnezzar. Charlemagne was the first Holy Roman Emperor, 
the Holy Roman Empire would rule over Europe and it guarded the church until the last Holy Roman Emperor, Francis II, was deposed by Napoleon.